Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Karen's Stamp Pad. My name is Karen Scott, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Edmonton, Alberta. And I am so happy to be live today. So, I first let me apologize for last week. I went to go live, and my computer um, was glitching. So, every time I went to try to tap on the camera that I wanted to use, it, it just kept stuttering, basically, and wouldn't let me choose anything. And I tried figuring out what was going on for the all of the week. My husband even spent a couple of hours last night trying to, to diagnose the problem. He installed, it kept saying that um, when it would stop glitching, it kept saying that uh, the browser wouldn't allow the camera to work. And we installed, or he installed, uh, three different browsers, or two other browsers other than Google Chrome, and uh, it still didn't work. And then, oddly enough, this afternoon, it, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, started working again. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm happy to be here. So this is last week's project that, uh, that I'm doing, and let me just start I am going to show you and I, I, I don't even know what to call it uh, it's a fancy fold card gift um, and what I do with it is is I put pictures in it and I uh, gift it to somebody so let me just show you a couple of things that I, I'm starting actually with the Santa Express uh, suite so using the designer series paper the the stamp set Santa De, Santa's delivery stamp set and the dies that go with it um, and I'm going to take all of this I'm just going to put it aside and I'm going to show you the projects that I've already done so I've used the kindest gnomes stamp set dies and you open this up and this is where the fancy fold comes in and you open it up and you've got it decorated on the inside and then I have some pictures so what a better gift to to give than you know something like this to somebody who has everything and you just want to give your pictures um, a little picture book so I haven't done this project in probably about 18 years and about 18 years ago I did one of these not a Christmas themed one but I did one for a girlfriend of mine Betty uh, in the States and I put pictures of her and her husband in it and she hung it on the wall so instead of opening and closing it to show everybody she displayed it on the wall which is is an option that you can do so okay so this one I have pictures in I have done the other ones I still have to uh, put pictures in the others I'll show you this one was using the uh, sweet candy canes designer series paper and I'm having a problem tying this so I'm not going to fight with it um, and the all bundled up stamp set so isn't he cute and then just open it up and away we have have the display so I'm gonna put that aside I'm gonna bring in I'm gonna search sh uh, by showing you what we need and I've got most of it pre-cut I am bringing in my scoring tool or my cut and scoring tool <clears throat> and uh, paper trimmer that's that's the words I'm looking for so I'm gonna open it up I'm gonna put it here I'm going to take I need three pieces of cardstock whatever color you choose to 
to use depending on the designer series paper you're using. I'm using real red and what I want to do is I want to cut this down to 8 by 8. So we'll start by doing that. 8 by 8 and you want three pieces of 8 by 8 cardstock. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it. So I'm going to start by scoring it at 4 inches. I'm going to turn it the opposite way and I'm going to score it at 4 inches again. And then what I want to do is I want to score it diagonally. So if you take your top corner and just push it up, you'll see it lines up in the groove. And then I want the bottom part to be in the groove as well. And then we're going to score it. And you only want one diagonal score. Then we are going to take it and we are going to burnish the edges with our bone folder because this is quite bulky to begin with. So if you can get it to lay a little flatter, that uh, that works out just a little bit better. But okay. So I've done all three of the score lines. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to put my fingers in the diagonal score line on each side, push the center, and bring these score lines together. Okay, hold it, and then lay it down and burnish it again. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my other two pieces that I've already done. I've already scored and burnished the edges. So I have three of them. Now I'm going to show you how to put this together. There is a little trick to it. All right. So we want to put these, the trick is, I mean, if you look at all of these right now, all of my all of my diagonal lines are pointing up. What I want to do is take the middle one. I want to flip it over. Okay, I want it the opposite way. Then I'm going to take some liquid glue. And I am going to put it on this square. I'm going to take my piece that's the opposite way, upside down, and I'm going to put the square on top of that and line it up. Okay, just give it a second to dry. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take my other piece, which is in the other direction. I'm going to put some glue on this square. And I'm going to put this piece on top like that. Okay. So as you can see, these are going in opposite directions. Okay. So that when you close it up, That kind of goes like like that a little bit of an accordion fold maybe not an accordion fold I'm not sure what the fold is called but I've seen some demonstrators recently doing some cards with this in, in them so then what we're gonna do is we're going to decorate so as you can see I mean the the pieces that that we have uh, scored in the uh, diet on the diagonal we've got 
one on each side. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So twelve pieces. Um, and then we've got four squares. So what I've done is I have cut some designer series paper and I have gone ahead and pre-cut this. And it's three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So just half an inch, or sorry, a um, quarter of an inch smaller than the four inch, four inches that we've scored. So I'm gonna line it up like that. I'm gonna glue it down. And I'm just going to center it as best I can. All right, so we have those. Now, as I said, we've got 12, 12 half pieces. And so what I did is, I don't want it all to be the same. So I have gone ahead and cut three, uh, three and a quarter by three and a quarter pieces of designer series paper, a different one. And I am going to put, figure out which way I want this to go. So I've, the three and a quarter, or sorry, three and three quarters by three and three quarters, I, I've also cut in half diagonally. So I've cut them a certain way. I want them all to kind of Go the same way. I think this one was supposed to go here. Nope. Nope, down there. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. Up here. And so what I'm doing, you can put you can put them any way you want them. But I'm having this side all pointing up and this side all pointing down. And then I'm going to attach those. So I think I'm going to use my liquid glue because it probably would be faster. And it gives me some wiggle room. This is such a cute little suite. And it also comes with memories and more cards and envelopes with the uh, package, which has a bunch of different things. So so if you buy the two, the, the package, just that, you will have um, you can put together your cards using this. I was playing around with it, trying to come up with some cards for my new stampers. Well, it's kind of everything all in one, which is nice for people who don't have an awful lot of supplies. Okay, so then what I've done is I have gone ahead and I have cut uh, three pieces of basic white cardstock, 
three and three quarters by three and three quarters and I have cut them on the diagonal in half like I did the these pieces and then I've run them through an embossing folder just to give it some texture and so rather than putting some more designer series paper down and uh, making it look too too busy I'm going to put these like so all right so this takes a little bit of time to put together once you ha actually I mean it doesn't really take all that long putting it together um, once you have all of your pieces die cut and uh, cut and scored it seems like a labor-intensive project, but it's not. So, I don't know how many people watching are actually from Edmonton, but it is a pretty nice day out today. It's been getting cold at night. <laughs> so today was a, a real treat. It was nice. The sun was shining. It's warm. Fall is here, and I don't think winter's too far behind. One more, and then we are going to get on to the decorating on the front. There we go. So that didn't take much time at all. I spent more time talking than working. All right. So there we have it. All right. Okay. Now, what I've done is, you know the um, cardboard that comes in with the designer series paper? I, to keep it from bending, I, I save that and I use the thinner ones and I have cut a couple of pieces which are four and a half by four and a half inches. I've cut some, so I need two of these, one for the front and one for the back of the, of the picture holder. And I have cut some more designer series paper and this, I need two of these and they're six inches by six inches. So I've already gone ahead and attached the designer series paper to either the front or the back. I'm just gonna move this out of the way so it doesn't look too, too busy. I'm gonna bring in my liquid glue again. So what I want to do is put some glue and I'm just going to secure it down. You don't have to, but it just works a little bit better. I'm going to grab my paper snips because if I don't cut off these corners or some part of these corners, it's going to be too bulky when I fold it over. So, and don't throw them out. You may need them to cover up an opening. Okay, so then we're just going to fold this over and then I'm going to glue it in place. And I'm going to use my liquid glue because it is a little bit stronger. I think this one needs to be a little bit shorter. Okay. this well the liquid glue definitely once it dries will hold it in place I found when I was using my uh, double-sided tape it was lifting and remember just give it a few minutes to dry
Okay. And by you cutting the six by six strip. Hello, Margaret Ann, how are you? Nice to see you again. <laughs> and by cutting a six by six piece, you are getting it, uh, covering it up so that when you put your piece on, as you can see, as you put your center in place, you've got a nice border and you don't ha have any of that ugly cardboard sticking out. So now I've got two of these pieces ready to go. Now I can throw these out because I didn't need them. All right, now what I'm going to do is take a piece of ribbon and I'm going to secure it to one of these pieces using my, my uh, tear and tape. Don't put it too far on the outside because then you'll see it, but you want to hold it in place. There we go. And then I'm going to put my liquid glue down. Nice to be back. I bet you had a wonderful time though. All those pictures were gorgeous. I miss the East Coast. <laughs> All right. So an easier way, I guess you could just put the glue on the red part, but let's, I want to see which way this is going to open, this way, okay, put that down, try to center it, okay, and I think what I'm going to do is just put this on this part and then put my top on. Okay. And then I'm going to stand it up, push it in place so it's even, and then I'm going to tie it just for a moment, just to let the glue set. And I'm going to pull out all my embellishments, which I've pre-cut. Okay, so these are presents, they're going in one direction, so I'm going to do it that way. I've gone ahead and cut out of the Designer Series papers some, oops, a little too many of these, some Santa Claus and a train. I've die cut some pieces, uh, um, this uh, with my circle dies just because this is so busy I want something that's gonna break it up a little bit so that you can see my embellishments so I'm just going to put these together okay that should be good and then I'm going to attach that so it is going to be covered up by a little bit by the ribbon, but that's okay. When you tie it closed, I think I'm going to put, hmm, get him out of the way. Do I want Santa? So this was just a, a part of the designer series paper that didn't have Mrs. Claus attached to it. So I thought, huh, he could be on my part. And, the, and I think, you know, I think I'm going to put him on there. Skating all by himself. I'm going to put some 
I bought, I cut these boughs out of a different um, or using a different die from a di uh, another set. But that's a nice thing when you have a bunch of different ones you can pull them all in and decorate however you like. Okay. So I had a stamp set that I used for the other ones and it's a celebrating you stamp set and it has a bit of everything in it and uh, it has Father's Day, Happy Birthday, Welcome Little One, you know, Happy Anniversary. So if you don't have a sentiment stamp set, this one, this one has you covered. So I'm going to use You Are Every Bit of Wonderful and stamp that on here. So I have um, another Coffee and Cards happening on Monday um, at Caffeine. So this will be my third one. I'm pretty excited. Have everything all ready to go. Here we go. Oops. And I'm going to put this right across Santa. And yeah, so that's um, Monday from 3 to 5 at Caffeine here in Chappelle. So if you are close enough, come on out and say hi and do a couple of cards. Now let's do... Let's do the inside now. So... Close this up so I don't have a an accident and put it so you can see it. All right, there we have it. Now, like I said, this is going to be for my pictures, which I haven't chosen yet. Uh, I have no idea yet who I'm going to give this to, so I don't uh, I don't have it done up. Now, sand is going to be a bit big for this piece. <clears throat> I wonder if his little train is going to be, you know, <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, I'm going to put a picture in, in three of them and I'm going to put Santa Claus in, in one. And these are going to be a little bit too big. could use a tree nope so when you're figuring it out just make sure you've got everything kind of the right the right size so on the weekend on Saturday I had a stamp class I drove up to Fort McMurray and did a stamp class and had an absolutely wonderful time with the ladies up there it was a it was a a good turnout and we had a lot of fun it was a long drive a long drive home and Avery came with me so that was kind of nice let's see I'm gonna put that down here and I have one more I'm going to put maybe right up here and um, Yeah, so I'm hoping to do another one come January. So that'll be that'll be nice. I wish you lived closer to Margaret Ann. Okay, so these are um, part of the Memories and More kit, and I'm going to. I've got a couple of things that I've already stamped out special delivery just for you Merry Christmas and I think I'm gonna put this one under here so I'm gonna bring in my take your pick tool if I can find it there's one and just put it underneath so there we go just so it's all even There we go. 
and put that here. Okay. So this is just what I'm doing to decorate. You can decorate however you like with whatever you like. Like I showed you the the gnomes one, I think is my favorite one so far. Um I think I might put some of this in just to add a little bit of color. So the what the <laughs> the one that I showed you, the gnomes one, I've already put pictures in and that was Christmas oh quite a few years ago when I lived in Parksville and uh, I'm sure my brother and my nephew will be really happy I've chosen pictures and showed everybody pictures of them <laughs> and I'm gonna put this right here I should have put this down first here we go <clears throat> there so now I've got a little bit of decoration going on and you can you can see and now all I need to do is actually just put uh, put my pictures in unless you know I've got some rhinestones I can put in I can cut some snowflakes but I don't I don't think it needs any snowflakes right now but so then when you go to Fold it up, remember, they go in opposite directions. And we just tie it closed. And see, that didn't take much time at all. So half an hour to put together. And, uh, you know, I would say probably less than 15 minutes of, of cutting time. So you can you know make one of these an hour if you wanted probably get even faster once you've done it a couple of times but uh, there we have it so again there's this one my <laughs> now I'm gonna fight tie in my bows the one using the all bundled up stamp and fussy cutting because they don't uh, don't come with dies. There's that one, and then again my gnomes one, which uh, has my pictures in it, and my gnomes, and there we have that one. So give it a try. Gift it to somebody who you know you'd normally give a picture album to and so I guess this is is kind of a picture album slash card but uh, and like I said you can choose to do what my friend Betty did and hang it on the wall to display it but uh, there you have this uh, cute little project so thank you for joining me and oh thank you <laughs> Oh, I have to do one in uh, Spruce or Stony. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If I can find a place to do it, yeah, absolutely. I just you have to give me a name of a coffee shop or something, and and see if I can't uh, can't do a drive out there and do a do a just a drop in in a coffee shop. So. Thanks for bearing with me. Sorry about last week. I apologize. Now it seems Facebook has got uh, got my live going again, which is nice because I was panicking, figured, trying to figure out how I was going to uh, do my videos. And I figured, oh, I'm going to have to start doing YouTube videos. But um, anyway, again, thank you. And uh, thanks for joining me, Margaret. Margaret Ann, and uh, I will see you if everything still goes well with my Facebook Live, I will see you next week at 4 o'clock. And uh, bye for now.